Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chris Blair and welcome back to the 13 Tech channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make serum presets from scratch, just from the initial preset. Uh, but before we do that, make sure you leave a like and comment down below what kind of tutorials you guys want to see next and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get right into the video. Initiate FL mode. Hold up, hold up, we didn't get the sound. That's what it's all about, baby. Alright, so let's pull up Serum. Now I'm just gonna start with this initial preset. So I'm gonna start with all the sounds for this video here. Uh, first one we're gonna make is a pluck sound. So what I would do when I'm making a pluck sound, I'd first drag this dot down. What that's gonna do, you can kind of see when I do that, it's gonna drag that sustain down. So you can also achieve that by just dragging the sustain down. And pretty much what the envelope is gonna do is whatever oscillator is playing, uh, it's gonna use this envelope here as like the volume of the sound. So if you drag it out this way, it'll take longer for the sound to get to its max level and it'll kind of drag out. If you go left, it'll hit all the way. And if you drag this up, the sound will kind of like stay when you release it. But basically, as you can see, uh, I might as well just play it. We're gonna make a pluck here, so we're just gonna do tack down, everything down. Let's go this. And that's just with this default wave here. Uh, I'm gonna go to a sine wave. Add a little bit of attack to it, not too much though. In, in Serum, everything, you can increase the unison here by doing that. Dragging up and down here by clicking. And then adjust the detune here, and you can see the further out those green lines are, the more detuned the sounds will get. What I like to do is I kind of just pick a number. It doesn't really matter, it just depends what you're going for. And then what I'm going to do here, we can adjust the wavetable position. But I'm going to link this to this LFO here. So these LFOs, you can all drag them to a knob, and then you can like click and go up and down to adjust how it works. So you can see... When I press it, it's going to follow this line, and it's going to go, this blue line is basically going along this path right here. So if I adjust this, it'll go slower. I can do, make it tap on every bar, so it's really slow. I don't want it to be too drastic, so I'm going to make it a little bit less. Cool. So that's like a pretty basic pluck so far. What I'm going to do now is I turn on oscillator B, make a second sound. I think I'm going to go to MB saw. And let's use LFO2 here, and we're going to turn on the filter. The filter is just kind of like an EQ. And you can turn it on and off for each individual sound, or for the noise, or for the sub bass. But we're going to start with the filter here. Let's do low 24. And we're going to take the second LFO and put it on the cutoff. So you can do some like weird dubstep stuff if you pull the cutoff like down below, and it'll kind of go backwards. But I'm going to go for something like this. Let's see, I'm going to turn that this up. And really, with making these presets and just stuff, it's just adjusting values and stuff until you find something that you like. Um, so really, it's just a lot of experimenting and stuff. It's really about just like thinking of a sound in your head and trying to either get to that or just experimenting along the way and making some random stuff. So what I'll do at this point is I'll probably go into the FX. Might actually add a noise really quick though before. I'm going to take envelope 2. Make it kind of similar, but kind of a little more delayed on the level for the noise i'm gonna pick a kind of like a different sound i'm thinking a glass lid that's fine um so now and a little bit of distortion let's actually do some down sample I think this sound would benefit from some delay. And some reverb too. Let's turn on multiband compressor.
It's kind of like a nice bell, plucky sound. We'll start with that sound. Just gonna save that. Bell one. And then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm just gonna change this sound and this sound. So what I did there is I just changed this to like a more of a white noise. This sound I want to be more interesting, so I'm gonna take this, put on the detune. So now we got like a kind of like a bell pluck sort of thing. It's gonna be I'll call it like a synth pluck, honestly. I'll rename it later because I usually just make a bunch of sounds. You can use a sound as like a foundation, basically, and it's really nice because you can just create a lot of uh, similar sounds really quick. This one, I want to put a phaser on it. Actually, let's put hyper dimension on it. For this one, I kind of want to introduce the sub. We're going to put down one octave. Let's do two. Actually, let's do one octave and let's do... So you can use the sub as an actual like sub or you can kind of use it as a third oscillator sometimes. I like to do that just to add another layer. And if you don't like it or you're not 100% sure, what you can always do is drag this mod right here. You drag it to the level so that has none. You turn it all the way up. Let's do actually up an octave. None. And with it. I didn't know what that would be. That'd just be like a synth, I'd say. That's three different sounds from there. So at this point, I'm going to go back to the first sound we made. And let's get a melody down. I'm gonna process this sound a little bit. All right, let's make a bass sound. See the making the bass sounds is pretty simple. I just like to stack two different types of waves. It doesn't really you can do whatever you want really, but just turn down the octaves and uh, EQ out some stuff using the filters and the EQ and pretty simple to make basic sounds. So I'm just gonna save this as preset here and I'm gonna turn it into something else. So So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to FM from B this and it'll modify this sound with this wavetable. Alright, I'm going to start another bass sound, but just start it from scratch for the sine wave here. Mm. 
And for the next sound, I want to use Reese Myth. I even hear this one, if we save this as another lead, we could probably turn this into a pluck. Alright, so really emphasize on the pluck before I save it, actually. Put this envelope in the levels. There we go. That. I'm gonna process that a little bit here. I usually like to leave the uh sound running in the background while I make stuff, so apologies on that. Helps me stay in the mood. Otherwise, I pause it and I don't want to make fucking sounds anymore. It's really annoying to just go like... All over and over, you know? Alright, so let's work on the sound here. That's a pattern right there. All right, and I'm gonna make a loop out of all of these here, but that's pretty much it. As you can see, we made a bunch of presets here. So we made three, four, five, six, like 13. Hey, look at that. We made 13 presets. You guys enjoyed that? I'm just gonna turn this into a loop. All right, guys, so here's the final loop. I'm gonna play that for you guys in just one second. But before I do, make sure you leave a like down below and check out our website. So we got, I got a bunch of kits on there with a bunch of sounds uh, made similar to this. Got a bunch of drum kits and stuff. And let us know what other tutorials you wanna see. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.